good day and you're very, very welcome as we gather in this new week, gather during the month of November. And what we note, the evenings are closing in a little bit on this part of the hemisphere, the northern part. The days are maybe drizzly and dull at times. There is great comfort in the fact that God loves us and we journey towards the celebration of Christmas. We journey towards things changing and heading towards springtime. And maybe this is just the time of hibernation, a time of closing down things, of being maybe a little bit still. And we have people and persons organising Christmas concerts and different things and getting on their way in schools. But during the month of November, we remember all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In chapter John, verse 6, 37 to 40, Jesus said to them, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And the will of him who sent me that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. What a beautiful reading, just to reflect for a moment or two and to allow that reading to just lie deeply within you. Maybe it's difficult for me and you to understand what it means to be raised up on the last day. I pray for trust, the trust that I need, for the faith to believe that God is working only for my good and for my lasting happiness. Jesus seeks to draw those who listen to him into a profound relationship with him. He asks them to believe in his wonderful promises about eternal life. Jesus, you invite me to partake in a life that is indestructible. I am to share the very life of God. This sharing has already begun. May my life and prayer life witness that I belong where you are. Bring me, Lord, and all others home to you. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. 
And may their noble souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, that the will of God be done in our lives, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, you are the one who did the will of God in a most perfect and beautiful way. Pray for us, Mary, that we too would do God's will in every way, as you did. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray your blessing upon us and upon our families near and far. Keep them in your care and in your love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.